Hey guys, Craig here with GeekTech.e back with another video and today we're doing a quick overview on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and um, this is Samsung's latest flagship device and the successor to the popular Galaxy Note 2 um, like previous Galaxy Note devices what they kind of do is they take all the features that they get from the, the Galaxy S series they kind of blend them into the Note and they bring Note features along with it so basically what we're going to do is want to take a run through the uh, design, the hardware, the specs the software features, the UI, and of course the S Pen itself. Uh, but first, uh, we're going to start with the box. This is it here. As um, you'll notice on the back here, flip it over, it is the SMN9005 device. Um, I'm going to give you a better look at all the specs here. It shows at the back. Um, I kind of have them written down over here as well, so we get a better run through of everything that this device has to offer. Um, <coughs> sorry, it might sound like I have a cold or something, which because I do. But uh, anyhow, so yeah, SMN9005 device, which means it is the Snapdragon Qualcomm uh, kind of device with Snapdragon 800 chipset, uh, Adreno 330 uh, graphics, uh, but more on the specs in a while, but just to let you know, it is the LTE version, um, so some markets will get the uh, Exynos version, but again, here is the, uh, the back of it, so I'm just going to slide it up slowly, uh, you can pause it at any point, and you can get a look at the specs there, um, pretty straightforward though. Um, inside the box it comes with the literature, I actually have that over here, just the basic guides and stuff that you would expect, um, just stuff like that, uh, it comes with earphones, um, uh, USB charger, 2 amp charger and USB uh, 3.0 cable, um, yes it is a USB 3.0 device but again we'll get back to that in a second, that's pretty much it for the box there, um, pretty much exactly like the, all their other boxes. And so we're going to move that out of the way, and we're going to bring the phone in. Now this is the Galaxy Note 3, and um, it is the black version. Um, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about the specs, then we're going to do a kind of a design, give you a, a show around the device and show you what it looks like. Um, so specs, okay. Uh, Display-wise, uh, that'll probably be the first thing to talk about because it is one of the standard features of the Note series is that it always has a big display. Um, yeah, so display is a 5.7 inch display with 1080p uh, resolution. That is 386 uh, pixels per inch. Um, it is an AMO LED display and it is a matrix um, uh, display. Basically what that means is it's not, it is a pentile display but it's a matrix, matrix uh, arrangement. Um, a diamond matrix is what I think Samsung call it. Um, so it's you know it's not at this resolution you aren't really going to notice any difference between an, a, a standard or gb display but again i have to state this is probably the brightest am oled display i've seen um i do have it set at the highest brightness right now so you can see it because i do have two studio lights pointing directly on it but it's still extremely bright and um, i have been able to use it in the sunlight and i've never had any real issues it is definitely brighter when you use it on the auto settings uh for some reason samsung kind of have a, a like a higher brightness setting when it's in auto when it needs to be rather than manual manual is probably 20 percent less bright compared to um, auto's max brightness and um, if that makes sense uh, there is a lot of talk about the reason why is basically so they don't display doesn't kind of burn out or use too much power or stuff like that or the device overheats they kind of make it so that it's only there if you really need it and the sensor will pick up if you actually need it or not that's pretty much the display um again not sure about the s pen if the uh, digitizer has more pressure sensitive areas compared to before i know they quadrupled it from the note 2 compared to the original note but i'm not sure if they've changed i think it's still the same and um, it definitely does feel a little bit more um it does feel a little easier right but that could be just software features or software enhancements or driver you know stuff like that kind of built better around it um i'm gonna zoom in again there um other specs uh, snapdragon 800 chipset uh, the cpu is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz which is uh quite impressive um it's like overall um the phone is absolutely smooth there's absolutely no lag whatsoever which is shocking for a sound device normally touch with there is some sort of noticeable lag throughout unless you have like vanilla android and um, the only other device i've never noticed that isn't vanilla android like a nexus to have zero lag was the xperia z1 again same processor slightly less clock speed but again performance wise they're nearly identical you're not really going to notice much of a difference but you can definitely check out the benchmarks on the website to get a better idea of performance but again benchmarks they're they're very synthetic they're not real perf like app performance will never 
you'll never notice the difference inside an app or a game. They never like a benchmark is designed to to get the most from the CPU when a game is designed to be efficient with the CPU. It's designed to get as much as it can, but not you know destroy itself in the process. They want to make them games are designed to work with the phones. Benchmarks are designed to test what the phones can do. So, like if if a, if a benchmark gets an extra two hundred points here or there, that really means nothing. Even if an extra thousand points in certain benchmarks means absolutely nothing in real world performance. So we do think that uh, this could be something to do with TouchWiz being a little bit better. It does have Android three, uh, four point three, so OpenGL uh, three point oh support is in there as well. Um, the Adreno three thirty GPU, along with three gigabytes of RAM, if I didn't mention it before. Uh, thirty megapixel camera. Um, which I think it's the same lens, same setup as the uh, Galaxy S four, um, lens, but because we have the extra beefy. CPU it does include an extra few features which are 4k at 30 frames per second and um, which again we have all demos that are going to be uploaded on the channel so you can check them out as well uh, 1080p at 60 frames and 30 frames per second and 720p at 120 frames per second so you can definitely check out all them out um, on the site <coughs> Wi-Fi BGN AC all the usual suspects with Bluetooth 4.0 GPS and again Qualcomm version so this is the LTA version uh so lte advanced so uh, basically it it's global lte and it supports 150 megs download and 50 megs upload so if you are on a network that has lte um you can definitely take advantage of it there and um, there's only one network i think that has it in ireland but i've yet to give it a shot um to see what it's like uh battery is uh 3200 milliamps which i will actually pop the cover off the back here and we'll give you a look at that before we move on to um, the uh, hardware of the device. So as you can see there, that's the battery there. Uh, and here we have the micro SIM and micro SD slot. Micro uh, SD is actually right above the SIM slot, so it's kind of like a dual slot um, module that they put in there. Um, we do have pins over here, so we can definitely tell that wireless charging is obviously a feature of the Galaxy Note 3. Assuming you buy the... Uh, wireless cover and adapter and stuff like that so. um okay so now it's time to talk about the hardware of the device um so this is pretty much it here as you can see as i've been showing up for the last few minutes there and um, we'll start with the bottom of the device and uh, we'll zoom in just to give you a better idea of how it looks um hoping you can see that okay uh here we have a microphone um, USB 3.0 and it does support USB 2.0 um, I'm not sure if it's faster with USB 3 charging I think with USB 3 you can probably get 2 hours USB 2 you can get probably 2.5 hours to full charge but I'm not sure if that's actually 100% because it's a 2 amp charger either way uh, with the S4 and the Note 3 so I'm assuming they always got the most out of it as they could but you might get better uh, charging on a PC using USB 3 as you would USB 2 definitely uh, faster data transfers and stuff like that um, so it's kind of nice to see this is one of the first devices I've seen with USB 3 so it's definitely good to start seeing devices come out that uh, we have the speaker uh, right here it's actually pretty much the same location as the Note or the yoke there I'm actually going to show you what I'm talking about right now as you can see it's actually in the exact same location but instead of having you know, the gr kind of grills there they kind of just open the grill up here at the end and they just pointed it at the bottom which is actually a good idea because it means you won't get muffled audio if your phone is sitting down on the table like that um but yeah that's pretty much the bottom of the device um move over here to the right side as you can see here on the i'm oh, sorry on the left side we have the volume rocker that's pretty much the only thing there and top of the device we have 3.5 millimeter jack microphone and infrared emitter um it does support the whole watch on app and stuff like that so you can control your TV and uh, stuff like that. Um, finally, right side we have the power button. As you can see there and down the end here, which is very faint to see, is another microphone slot right there. Not sure if you can see it, I'll actually zoom. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it's right there anyway. So you have another one there you can play around with. Um, yeah, that's pretty much of the hardware. We'll look at the back here. 
you have the 13 point, uh, 13 megapixel camera. So use the same, the Xperia Z1 20.7, I'll so use the same 0.7 or point something. Anyway, 13 megapixel camera with LED flash, again, 4K, 1080p at 60 frames and 120 at, uh, sorry, 720 and 120 frames per second. Samsung logo is right there. Um, and the biggest change with the design would be the uh, leathery textured back with uh, leather stitching, as you can see here. I'll zoom in. As you can see, the leathery stitch there. It's it's all plastic again. It's the same as before, but it kind of gives a leathery feel. It's much smoother than before. It doesn't have the same gloss, and you don't get as much fingerprints. At least you can't see them as well as you could before. But it's definitely a step up. Um, from previous uh, Samsung devices we definitely like the look of this and the feel of it so it's quite nice definitely improvement it definitely adds to the whole note series devices as well Um, the only other thing oh yeah is they have a kind of kind of lines here it's supposed to illustrate uh, a closed book the pages of a closed book again kind of a note thing but it does add to the grip a little bit so it's definitely an improvement so that's pretty much it for the hardware of the device Um, we will jump over to the S Pen this is the S Pen here. Not really much has changed the overall design. We still have the one button uh, right there, and the tip at the end of the S Pen is definitely bigger than before. So you kind of you can use it at a more of a steep angle than before. Normally you have to use it as direct, but now you can actually use it like this. Um, one of the other contents that come in the box um, are replacement tips and a little prong thing to pull this one out and then put the new ones in. So that's definitely a plus if your tip gets damaged or falls out or if any reason you want to change it because it does have a kind of a softer uh, end to it so it doesn't scratch the device rather than being plastic I think as it was before on the Note 2. But that's pretty much the S Pen there. Um, we'll jump over to the device itself and I'll turn it on here and we'll show you pretty much this is TouchWiz, not really much has changed. Again you can jump onto the review before we even get screenshots of the entire UI. And um, what I will show you here is the few S Pen um, from the Air Command thing we have here. We have Action Memo, which pretty much just brings up a memo unless you're right. Uh, pretty much like before on the, uh, the Note uh, uh, 2, but we do have another feature here, which I will show you. If you type in a number or an email address or anything like that, you can click the uh, Action button, which essentially allows you to highlight it. You can call the number. As you can see, it brings it up, send a message to it, email it, search it on the internet, stuff like that. Quite a handy uh, feature to have when you're jotting down notes for any reason you need to jot down quickly. So definitely a cool feature there. And um, the other things we have here, bring this up, you just push the button when highlighting on the screen and it brings up air command. Uh, we have scrap bugger, which again we'll demo more in the full review. And um, we have screen write, which takes a screenshot and allows you to write on it, uh, S Finder which is essentially a search mechanism that kind of categorizes and details your entire phone, the internet, everything. Um, it's essentially like Google Now, but kind of their version for searching the internet and your device. And Pen Window. Uh, this is the other feature that we wanted to show you here, which is essentially kind of, um, they had a pop-up video, which was allowed you to watch videos and uh, like, you know, just place them anywhere on the screen as the Galaxy Note. Uh, to had this again the phones the galaxy Note 3 still has that same feature but they also have pen window now pen window allows you to use a certain few apps here um that you can bring up like the dialer so if you can imagine you have the dialer here in a much smaller screen and you can place that anywhere now you can also minimize it and it just leaves an icon there and when you're scrolling around it's still there and then you can bring it back up so if you need to look for a number if you're searching the internet you can bring that up and have it there ready and you can use it just like uh, you would any app on the uh, phone so that's pretty cool and um, right there um, and you can actually do this oops, sorry you can actually do this more than once so if you bring up another one you can bring up the uh, calculator there let's bring that one up and you can see we've another thing there so it's kind of a cool little feature there people want to use it I'm not sure if many people will get advantage of it but again it's there to use and um, the same thing before as uh, to multi-window um, so I don't think I have it turned on with this one but again it's the exact same as it was before so if you can copy information again everything all the details from the, the UI and everything like that will be on the full review on the website what I will do is oop, I'll bring up 
uh, one benchmark just to give you a, a look at what kind of performance you can expect. Uh, I'll just run it there live. Um, can't really remember what the last results I got when I actually done, done it. So there might be apps running in the background or anything like that that could you know make it better worse. But you get an idea for what kind of performance you can expect. Again, the full review, all the benchmark numbers, performance, gaming video and stuff are on the channel and the, the site with the link below. So you can definitely check them out and get an idea. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Galaxy Note 3. Um, if I did forget anything, don't worry, it's definitely on the full review on the site, so you can definitely give that a look and get an idea of the entire device and the conclusions there as well and what we really think about it after running it through its paces and uh, really giving it a, a use as a phone. A lot of reviews I see, it's just really performance numbers and camera shots and stuff, but ultimately I think a, a review should be all based on actually using the device and seeing what kind of performance you can get out of it. There you go, that's the kind of numbers you can expect from the Galaxy Note 3. Again, probably higher or less, depending on if stuff is running in the background. But again, that's pretty much it. Um, so definitely check out the full review on geektech.ie. And there are other videos, camera samples and stuff like that, that you can check out on the site to get an idea of what kind of quality you can expect from it. The 4K performance is quite imp impressive. We weren't expecting it to be as good as it was. We were expecting it to be pretty much the same as 1080p, just a little bit better. But uh, it is quite impressive, so definitely check that out and check out the full review on geektech.ie. So uh, this has been Craig, so thanks for watching.